بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم احمده ونصلي ونصلي مع على رسوله الكريم اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته الحمد لله رمضان مبارك تو تو एवरीवन الحمد لله now the the blessed month of ramadan has has have finally arrived alhamdulillah may allah ta'ala give us the tawfiq to to make the most of it inshallah ta'ala so i just like to mention uh this hadith this khutbah which our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he he gave towards the end of sha'ban so it's been narrated an salman radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qala khatabana rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam fi akhir yawmin min sha'ban that salman radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he narrates that our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he he spoke to us meaning he gave us a khutbah he gave he gave us a, a, a speech Uh, on the last day of Sha'ban and he said ayyuha an-nas qad adallakum shahrun azim shahrun mubarak shahrun fihi laylatun khayr min alf shahr so our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that o oh people there comes to you a great month now and a most blessed month in which is a night greater in value and goodness than than a thousand months جعل الله صيامه فريضة وقيام ليله تطوع من تقرب فيه بخصلة من الخير كان كمن أدى فريضة فيما سوى. So it's a month where it is a month in which um, Allah Taala has made fasting فرض. Allah Taala has made fasting compulsory by day, and Allah Taala has made سنة the the tarawih salah you can say the tarawih salah by night whoever wants to be close to allah taala by doing any good deed then for for such for such a person shall shall be the reward like the one who who had performed a a fard a fard act in any other time and whoever and whoever sorry and the and the arabic wa man adda fihi faridatan kana kaman adda sab'ina faridatan fi ma siwa and whoever performs a fard act should be given the reward of 70 fard acts in either in the other time so in other words that if any other deed is performed any other normal deed is performed during this blessed month any good deed then the reward will be like the reward which a person usually usually receives for fulfilling a fard act in in normal times and if a fard act is fulfilled during the month of ramadan then the reward of that is multiplied by by 70 70 times and this is you know in comparison to the normal times so the blessed month of ramadan the reward for for our actions the reward for good deeds it, it multiplies wa huwa shahr as-sabr wa as-sabr thawabuhu al-jannah and then our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that indeed this month of ramadan this is a month of patience and the reward for for true patience is is jannah is the reward for true patience is paradise وشهر المواساة وشهر يزداد فيه رزق المؤمن. It is a month of showing kindness to everyone. مواساة المواساة means kindness. So this is a month of showing kindness to everyone, and this is a month in which a true believer's رزق, meaning a true believer's sustenance, uh, is is increased. What do we mean by رزق? Meaning food money so on and so forth so the blessed month of ramadan is a month of patience and it's a month of showing kindness uh, to others and this is a month in where a true believer's sustenance is increased then our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he continues man fattara fihi sa'ima kana maghfiratan li dhunubihi wa idqa raqabatihi min an-nar وكان له مثل اجره من غير ان ينتقص من اجره شيء ان الله صلى الله عليه وسلم هي سد من فطر الصائم 
man fattara sa'ima that whoever whoever feeds a, a fasting person in order to break the the fast at, at iftar at the time of sunset then whoever provides his food for a fasting person whoever feeds his fasting person then for him there shall be forgiveness or of sins meaning that such a person's sins shall be forgiven inshallah ta'ala and freedom from the fight of jahannam inshallah ta'ala meaning freedom meaning a person will be saved a person will save themselves from falling into the fire of jahannam and this person will receive this the same reward as as the fasting person in the the person who whom he fed without the fasting person losing any reward subhanallah so now there were some of the sahabas obviously the muslims were were financially strained and they weren't not everyone was in a position where they could they could provide food for for other people so that they could break their fasts so now some said qalu laysa kulluna najidu ma yufattiru ma yufattiru sa'ima so the sahabas said that O Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not all of us can afford to to give a fasting person something to break his fast with so faqala so our prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said yu'ti allahu hadha thawaba man fattara sa'ima ala tamrah ala tamratin aw sharabati ma aw mad aw mad qanat aw mad qati daban so prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he he replied, he kept the hopes up and he said that Allah Ta'ala gives this same reward. Allah Ta'ala gives the same reward to one who, who gives a fasting person a, a date just to break his fast with. So even if you give a date, inshallah ta'ala, then you'll get the reward for for the, the fasting person breaking his fast. Or even if you give a sip of water to the person, or if, if you give a sip of milk to the person, so subhanallah, even just providing just something minor something small for a, f- a fasting person to break his fast with, then inshallah ta'ala you on account of that inshallah ta'ala you will receive this this amazing reward then our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he continued wa huwa shahrun awwalahu rahma wa awsatuhu maghfirah wa akhiruhu itqum min an-nar subhanallah this is a month where the first of which brings Allah Ta'ala's mercy and the middle of which brings Allah Ta'ala's forgiveness and the last of which brings freedom from from the fire of Jahannam. So the first ten days is, are the days where Allah Ta'ala's mercy uh, is showered in abundance and there's a specific dua which a person should should try and read. Allahumma rahamni ya arhamar rahimin. Allahumma rahamni Ya Arham ar means O oh Allah Ta'ala, have mercy on me, O oh, the most merciful from amongst all those who who are merciful. So this should be recited in the first ten days. And the second ten days is is where the forgiveness of Allah Ta'ala is attained. So during the second the middle ten days, this specific da should be should try and be read Allahumma ghfili dunubi Ya Rabbal Alameen Allahumma ghfirli dhunubi Ya Rabbal Alameen O Allah Ta'ala forgive me Forgive my sins O Lord of the Universe O Allah Ta'ala Overlook, pardon my sins O Lord of the O Lord of the Universe The word Rabb literally means someone who Who nourishes something or someone who who's in, in control of something so when we say ya rabbal alamin what we're saying that oh the controller of of the entire universe forgive me overlook my sins and then the the last uh, 10 nights there this is when a person can acquire freedom from from the fire of jahannam so a specific thought to be to be read here is La ilaha illallah astaghfirullah al-azim wa as'aluka al-jannata wa a'udhu bika min al-nar 
repeat that again. La ilaha illallah, astaghfirullah al-azim, wa as'aduka al-jannata wa a'udhu bika min al-nar. There is no one worthy of worship besides Allah. And I seek Allah, uh, I seek the, uh, the Allah Ta'ala's forgiveness. Allah Ta'ala, the, the Azim, the Great, I seek His forgiveness. And I ask for Jannah and I seek refuge from the fire of Jahannam. Allah Ta'ala gives a tawfiq to, to bring these du'as in, into practice, inshallah. So then the hadith continues. Man khaffafa an mamlukihi, ghafar Allah lah. مِنَ النَّارِ Whoever gives less work to his servants or his workers, meaning those servants or workers who are fasting in the month, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will forgive the, the boss. Allah ta'ala will forgive the, that person who, who gave less work and Allah ta'ala will free him from the fire of Jahannam. وَاسْتَكْثِرُوا فِيهِ مِنْ أَرَبَعِ And Four things should be performed in great number in this month. خَصْلَتَيْنِ تُرُضُونَ بِهِمَا رَبَّكُمْ مَخَصْلَتَيْنِ لَا غِنَا لَا غِنَا بِكُمْ عَنْهُمَا So from amongst these four, from amongst these four traits, the two of them will will, will please Allah Ta'ala. Two of them will bring, will be a means of acquiring the pleasure of Allah Ta'ala. While the other two are such which you can't do without. You need to. You need to do the other two. فَأَمَّا الْخَصْلَتَانِ اللَّتَانِ تُرُضُونَ بِهِمَا رَبَّكُمْ فَشَهَادَةُ أَلَّا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَتَسْتَغْفِرُونَ So as for those two traits which will, which are a means of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are they? They are such that a, a person should recite the لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ a person should recite the, the first kalima. La ilaha illallah, kalima tayyibah. A person should recite this in in great number, in abundance. Meaning la ilaha illallah to bear witness that there is no no God except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's the first thing. To recite la ilaha, la ilaha illallah in abundance. And the second and the second trait. And to recite istighfar, meaning to beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness with by saying astaghfirullah astaghfirullah so there are the two traits the the two things which will inshallah ta'ala be a means of acquiring allah ta'ala's pleasure and as for the for the other two which a person cannot do without wa amma latani la ghinan bikum anhuma fatusaluna allah aljannah wa ta'uduna bihi min an-nar allah akbar so as for the the two traits which you can't do without which one needs to, should be, which one should bring into their lives, is that a person should beg Allah Taala to, to to have entrance and uh, entry into into Jannah, and to ask Allah Taala protection from the fire of Jahannam. And then our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he he finishes off by saying, "Waman ashbaa fihi saima saqahu Allah min hudi sharbatan la yadmau hatta yadhul al Jannah." Allah. And whoever gives a fasting person water to drink, Allah Ta'ala should permit such a person to drink from min hawdi, from my fountain, meaning from the fountain, from our Prophet Sallallahu fountain. And this would be such a drink that after, you know, where, when that person, he drinks this, then inshallah Ta'ala, he will never feel thirsty again until he, until he enters Jannah. SubhanAllah Ta'ala. So all these points in these in this hadith that they they've been explained in many many other hadith as well in regards to the the great rewards of Ramadan and our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he gave this lecture at the end of Sha'ban the the end of the month of Sha'ban because meaning the month of Sha'ban is the month which is prior to Ramadan so obviously there there's something which our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanted to, to display here and this is to show the great importance of Ramadan. And this is to emphasize, to make the most of this blessed month and and not to allow even a second of this blessed month to go to waste. Now we have to understand that obviously the month of Ramadan is a month of fasting. And we need to really absorb the value of this month. Allah Ta'ala has mentioned uh, in, a, in a hadith where Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, 
quoting Allah Ta'ala that um, يَقُودُ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ أَصَّوْمُنِي وَأَنَا أَجْزِي بِهِ That Allah Ta'ala has mentioned that fasting is for me and I will personally reward the, the fast. I will personally reward the person who, who fasts. Also, our Prophet ﷺ has mentioned مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانْ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ That whoever fasts the month, of Ram- the month of Ramadan out of sincere faith, meaning sincerely, believing in Allah Ta'ala and hoping for reward from Allah Ta'ala, then inshallah Ta'ala all his past sins will be forgiven inshallah. So may Allah Ta'ala give the tawfiq to, to benefit from what has been said inshallah Ta'ala. May Allah Ta'ala firstly give... Uh, give me the chance to act upon what has been said, inshallah ta'ala, and may Allah ta'ala also give us the, the opportunity and the tawfiq to, to make the most out of this blessed month, inshallah ta'ala. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, shadwa la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.